everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll go over the four inks and pens that I selected for the month of January, and I'll also provide some close-ups and thoughts on each pairing later on in the video. So I selected four inks this time. I didn't get around to doing a December currently inked. Um, so what I did instead is that I decided today to pick four inks based on the four ink swaps that I was able to do in the last couple of months. This first ink is Ferris Wheel Press Double Raspberry, and this is an ink, one of the inks that I got from Lorelei, from Handmade by Lorelei. And I intentionally picked this ink because I wanted to pair it with the, the pen that you'll see um, in just a moment, but it's this beautiful, bright, punchy pink. And I paired it with the Birmingham Pen Company's Sixth Avenue Fountain Pen. And this is one of my newest additions, and I think it's lovely. I love the Model A so much that I wanted to get a, a second Birmingham Pen Company pen, and I found this on sale and I purchased it at the end of last year. The second ink is Le Bon in Poseidon Green. This is one of the inks that I got from Karina, from Karina Loves to Plan. And I just think that it's a gorgeous ink um, that I also paired with the Lamy All Star in black. And this is my first fountain pen that I got that got me down the fountain pen rabbit hole. This third ink is Sailor Yurameku Yoi. And this is an ink that I got from Melissa from Sky Dyed Ink. And it is gorgeous. Uh, it's a gorgeous gray. Um, in fact, I was quite surprised. Um, I have it inked with the Caveco Classic Sport in the iridescent in the iridescent color, um, but I was surprised in that I thought it would just be kind of your typical gray, but it has this gorgeous lavender or purple undertone to it, and I think it's just a really beautiful ink. Now this ink is Ferris Wheel Press, the Velvet Ballet, and I got this ink from Paris from Frenchie in Focus, and I have been obsessed with this ink. Um, I have it inked up in the Twisby Go in a broad nib, and I've really enjoyed writing with this particular ink. And um, yeah, I'll just give you my thoughts uh, when I do the writing sample. Um, I decided I would go in reverse order, so now I'm going to start with Velvet Ballet. And what I do have to say about this ink is that I have been obsessed with it and I have been writing with it often since I got it about a month ago. I have it inked in the Twisby Go, and to be honest, I don't know if I like this pen so much. The broad nib is nice in that it really showcases the shading and the shimmering properties of this ink, but the pen feels light in my hand, and I also have to hold the pen a particular angle in order for the nib to make like a reliable contact with the paper. But what I love about this ink too is that it's got this deep burgundy maroon color, but then also has bits of chocolate and brown in it. Um, and so I really have enjoyed writing with this particular ink. So this ink is Sailor Yurameku Yoi. And as I mentioned before, this is an ink sample that I got from Melissa from Sky Dyed Inks. And I have to say that I really, really enjoy this gray. Um, if I had this ink in my, I mean, if I had this ink earlier, it would have definitely been in my purple grays, lavender grays video. Um, it's really gorgeous in that it has, it's this gray with like a pinky, no, not pinky, more like a lavender purple undertone. And it shades beautifully, especially when uh, I have it inked in the medium nib in the classic, uh, the Caveco Classic Sport. With Le Bon's Poseidon Green, I can't tell if it's a wet or a dry ink, but what I do know is that I have been enjoying this ink, inked up in the Lamy All Star in a fine nib. Um, I'm able to get a very fine, precise line, so, it, so it's a pen that I have been going to quite often uh, for my Hobonichi A6 Techo, um, and I just need to write small in that planner, and so I am always turning to this Lamy All Star um, to just fill out my days and to plan ahead. Now I have the Ferris Wheel Press Double Raspberry inked in the Birmingham Pen Company uh, Sixth Avenue pen, and uh, I just think that they're a great 
color combination um, to have a vibrant saturated pink ink or like a fuchsia ink magenta and to have it paired with this uh, really vibrant pink pen um, it's just a winning matching combination i think the ink is pretty wet um, or maybe that the pen is wet i'm not quite sure yet this is the first time i'm inking the birmingham uh, pen but um, I just think that the ink and pen combination is great. There is beautiful shading and double raspberry doesn't really sheen. There is no shimmer in this ink either. Now that the inks are starting to dry, um, I'm just noticing how gorgeous these ink swatches are. You can tell that all of them shade beautifully in the ink swatches. Um, Ferris wheel press sheens and it has a bit of shimmer. Le bon Poseidon Green doesn't sheen. There is no, um, there's no shimmer in it either, but it shades beautifully. Double Raspberry is also a fun shading color. There's no sheen or shimmer either. And then if you look at Yurimaku Yoi, it is a shading ink. There is no sheening, uh, or there is no shimmer, but in the more saturated areas, there seems to be a bit of sheen, which makes it a really fun and dynamic ink. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know what your thoughts are, if you've had any of these inks, if there are inks that you would love to try, um, inks that you already have tried and are your favorites. Just let me, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.